Okay guys, it's time to declutter my makeup. Um, so you're going to get a little sneak peek of my vanity, but um, I do want to reorganize it a bit and get some other organizers because I'm not totally happy with the way it's set up now. But um, yeah, so you will be seeing a sneak peek of that. So I do have an Alex 5 drawer um, system and this is the top drawer. And in this one I kind of keep, uh, I have two boxes here that have kind of my weekly makeup basket items or items I use every single day. Um, I have in this back one I have like nail stuff. In my old desk I had a, I can't see it right now, but um, in my old desk I had a little shelf um, and I, for whatever reason I always do my nails at my desk um, even before my desk was my vanity. So I had a little shelf with nail stuff and so I just put it in this drawer. So I kind of want to rearrange things and I probably don't want that there, but for now I'm just not going to rearrange anything we're going to declutter. So, um, if you don't know, I've been following the Marie method of decluttering your house, and in that she says to kind of take everything out and put it in one place, so I guess I should technically take out all my makeup and put it in a pile, but I'm just, I'm not going to do that, guys. <laughs> um, Luckily, everything I have other than this drawer is organized by type of item, so it kind of already is in a big pile. But I will go through and um, touch everything. And um, So she says that if something sparks joy, you should keep it, and if it doesn't, you should not. But for my makeup, I feel like I'm not really going to follow that 100% because using things up does give me joy. And... Um, but I am against kind of using up things I hate, so um, I feel like my bar is like, do you like this enough to use it up? And, I mean, I don't want to throw away all my concealers because they're not, like, amazing. Um, because then I just have to buy a bunch of different ones to find out which ones are amazing. I don't know. That's kind of just my random thoughts for now, but um, let's get started. So I'm going to start in the back. Um, here I just have some makeup remover towelettes, and I'm going to keep those. Um... Here's my beauty spatula, um, and I'm going to keep that. Here is a hair donut I use to um, clean off my brushes when I'm changing colors and stuff. If you don't know about this trick, it's really great. Then this is my little kind of powder duo. I always use the Kabuki brush with my e.l.f. powder, which is in my Project 10 pan and will actually be gone soon. So I have these shine control blotting sheets, and I used to use these in high school all the time. And as you can see, these are really old. I don't even know when I bought them. Probably uh, at least five years ago, and I have not used... I don't remember the last time I used one. Um, my skin is not as oily as it was in high school, so luckily I don't need these. And they're just sitting here, and I'm going to throw them out. <clears throat> I'm going to take out this nail drawer and we can kind of go through this. So this is kind of one of those, I don't know what to call it, buffing, blocky file things. Um, this is a new one I just got at Sally's and I'm going to keep it. This is my cotton claw, which I showed in my Project Polish video. Um, I love this. Thank you to whoever recommended this. These I use when I paint my toes. My toes, I have some crooked toes, so I really need to separate them or else I get nail polish everywhere. All right, this is a sample of the Josie Moran Bare Naked Wipes. And I don't really love these. Um, they're really oily, and I feel like I have to work extra hard to get um, the nail polish off my nails with them. So what I've been doing is, you know, removing my nail polish and then just kind of using these as a treatment. Um... So, I don't know. Let's see how many I have left. Alright, I don't have too many of these left, and like I do like using them as a treatment, I guess, um, instead of a polish remover, so I think I will keep these around and just use them up because it won't take me too long. Then, this is my Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I love this stuff. Um, I'm almost hitting pan on this one, so I'm definitely going to keep this. It's really nice. Now this is my cuticle pusher backer tool <laughs> and um, my Sally Hanston Instant Cuticle Remover. This is the case for my tweezers, which I keep in my quirky organizer now, so I don't need to have this. 
I have two pairs of nail polish, or nail polish room, um, nail clippers. I'm going to keep one in here, and then I'm going to put one in my bed, my bathroom, because sometimes I need one, and it's a pain in the butt to walk all the way in here, so, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one in here, and then move this other one. And then my pet egg, I use this sometimes, sorry, that's gross, um, I do use this sometimes, so I will keep that. And then these are just nail dotting tools, which I also use sometimes. So yeah, I didn't really declutter much here, but this is kind of all stuff I use in this drawer, so I'm not expecting to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, I do want to kind of reorganize it, though. I'm going to take this out of this box, actually. Put that there. back here for now I'm probably going to rearrange where I keep this stuff though um so in this one let's see I have these two foundation samples I've had forever um and this one's the wrong color and I don't know I'm not I'm never gonna use these up so I'm gonna throw these away I just never think to grab those this is my eyelash curler um this is oh this is my nail polish cleanup brush but this is actually a terrible brush to use for that so I Oh, sorry, it's not in focus. Um, it is an e.l.f. brush, and this one is just, it's not a good one for cleaning up nail polish mistakes and stuff, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Then uh, my Smashbox BB Cream. And then this Bare Minerals Sample. I'm going to pull this out, so I definitely don't need these darker colors. So I'm going to throw these away, and then I'm going to put these somewhere where they're like in my use this up area. Because I do want to try this out, actually. And this is my Laura Mercier um, foundation. Put that in there, too. I just kind of need to kind of find a better way to organize everything here. Um, and so this is done. This... Is just a piece of paper with a quote that came in my wantable box from going to the I just think it's a cute quote but I was gonna like put it somewhere but I don't know I haven't I'll just throw this away <laughs> it's a good quote here I'll save it for posterity in this video and then this is my little card with it's oh it's so gross um with my project pan markings in it and this is kind of my weekly makeup basket little uh Box. And this is my grindhouse. This is actually getting really gross. I've had it for a year now and I just can't... Here, let me dump it out. It's like all this stuff, if you can see, is like sticking in here. And there's just like so much eyeliner and goop. It's kind of getting gross. And I have another um, sharpener I can use, so I'm going to just throw this one away. And then I have this primer that I'll be using this week. Um, my concealer. My other highlighting concealer. Um, this brush that I keep in here because it's double-sided and I have nowhere else to put it. This other teeny tiny brush. I do use that. Um, this is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders in these jars. My brow gel. Professional. Sealer, um, my color tattoo that I'm using up. This is all stuff that I'm using up, or this is my new Too Faced Bulletproof Brows. And these don't need to be in here because I haven't, I'm not trying to use these things up, so I'm just going to move them. But I'm not getting rid of them. Um, I'm not trying to use this up either right now, so I'll put it over here. Beauty Blender, just in the case in here, um, but I need to wash it, so it's on my desk right now. <clears throat> Here is the second drawer, and I really need to get this stuff for the drawer so stuff isn't sliding everywhere, but it is my blush and bronzer and highlighter drawer, I guess. So let's get started. So this is my NARS Deep Throw, and in my swatch stashing video, I was kind of on the fence of whether I should keep this because I also have it in this palette, but this little one, it does make me happy. I love it. It's so cute and tiny, so I'm definitely keeping it, and I also love this palette, so while I'm at it, I'll just put these in the keep pile. This is a Pop Beauty bronzer. This does not make me happy and I am going to get rid of it. 
This is this Dream Bouncy blush, and I hate it with a fiery passion, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is my How About Them Apples palette. This makes me very happy, um, so I'll keep this. And I'm not going to swatch anything, so I will link my swatch videos um, down below so you can see those. So this is another um, Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer. I have three of these. I'm trying to use up my rose one right now, and then I have one for highlighting. Um, and then this one is kind of more my skin tone. Um, sorry, it's not in focus. Um, but I never use this. I never reach for it. Um, but it would be good for spots, but not to sound like an asshole, but I almost never have any spots. Um, and when I do, I don't really care. Um, I very rarely have one that, I mean, I use foundation over it and, you know, you can usually still see it, but I don't really, I can't be bothered to super conceal it up, so I think I'll get rid of this concealer. So these are my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, and I love these. These are amazing highlighters, and they definitely spark joy in my heart. This is a Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Chile, and this is in my products I want to use up this year. I'm using the Pink Escape one right now. And to be honest, at first I didn't love it, and I almost thought about throwing it away and giving up and trying to use it up. But I've kind of grown to love it, so that's kind of um, a caveat. So I always say you shouldn't use up, force yourself to use things you don't like, but I think you should for like a little bit. Um, you don't have to use it up, but maybe just force yourself to use it for a couple weeks, and then it might grow on you. Um, so this one is a lot brighter, so I don't know if it will. I will like it as much as the Pink Escape one, but I'm going to wait and try it out um, because yeah so this is kind of a on the fence like does it make me happy I'm not quite sure yet so I'm going to keep it but if I start to pan it and it's just not making me happy I have no reservations about getting rid of it okay this is a blush I got in my it my glossy box and I have never I think I tried it once on my cheeks and I did not like it I don't even think I wore it I think I wiped it off um, it's not in focus so I'm gonna get rid of it it does not bring joy to my heart and I have so many other blushes I love way more than this this is the Krylon for glossy box um, kind of highlighter in cashmere this is another thing I don't reach for because I have other things that make me happier that I reach for so this is gonna go I think we're probably gonna see a theme of subscription box things going um, this is a MAC cream color base in Shell, and I bought this on like a blog sale. I don't even know why. I don't really even know how to use this. I mean, it's it's like a highlighter, but I don't like it. <laughs> I guess it's not the, that's the problem. Um, so I'm not going to throw this away because maybe I'll just back to MAC it, or um, maybe I'll pass it on. So I'm not going to put it in the throwaway pile, but I'm going to put it in the like... Maybe try to sell, and if I can't sell it, just back to Mac it, which is probably the only thing in that pile. Um, so this is just a little sample of the Makeup Forever um, Coral Blush Cream Blush, and I do kind of want to try this out. It looks like a really pretty shade, um, so I'm going to put this with my like samples. I want to keep, maybe I should keep samples kind of all together instead of in... Like with the other blushes, because it kind of just gets like hidden. So, but I do want to try it out. So, I mean, I don't know if I'll use up this entire sample, but I want to try it at least once. So, this is Benefit Majorette. I love this blush. Looks like that. It's cream. I'm gonna keep this. This I just got in a swap with Miranda. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, but its name is Peachy Keen, and that's the name of my channel. So, um, so that alone gives me joy. So, I am keeping it. Okay, so these are bare mineral items, and um, I want to say they make me super happy, but I do want to use them up, and you know, I'm kind of pretty close to doing that, and I'm kind of planning on panning a bunch of bare mineral things this summer in a project pan, so a little glimpse of what I'm planning for the future, so I'm going to try these out, but if I don't, if they're horrible, um, I'm not going to pan them, I will just get rid of them at that point, but I will hold on to them because... Um, I do want to, if you look, the, I already marked this one, it's right here, 
And then this one I think is even lower. It's like right here, about the same I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna hold these out onto these and they might be in my next project pan or the one after that. This is my Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette and this does make me very happy. Um, the eyeshadows don't really make me happy, but I really love the face products. Um, these are just okay, but these I like, so I'm going to keep this whole thing. This is my Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Blush Palette, and it does make me happy. Um, even though I kind of feel like I might regret buying this, but it still makes me happy, and I don't know if that makes any sense. But um, I just feel like they're too similar on the cheeks, but I do really like the way they look on the cheeks, so I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going to keep it. This is my little Z palette. It just has two NARS blushes in it from the Guy, Dor Guy Bourdain palette. Um, and I love this one. Um, I like when I... Um, I love this one. It's kind of a red blush and I don't have anything like it. And then this is my only cool toned pink blush. So both of these are very unique in my collection and I like them a lot. Alright, so this is a CoverGirls Cheekers blush, and it's in Ice Cappuccino, I believe, and I do really like the shade. Um, it's very similar to Tarte Exposed, but, I mean, I don't, maybe I'm just like a high-end snob, but I reach for this way more than I reach for this, and this one just makes me happier. And it's dumb, because it's probably just that it's pretty packaging and it costs more money, but, um... Yeah, I just haven't reached for this. I did make myself use it for a week, um, and I kind of compared it with these, and they were pretty similar on the cheeks, I believe, if I remember correctly, but, um, I don't know. Like, I like this one because it, this one's a little bit rosier, and this one's more brown, so I do like that. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this. So, I kind of actually want to depot it and put it in that Z palette. I forgot that was something I wanted to do, and I think then I would actually reach for it more. Because I don't know, I just like, I don't like the stupid little packaging. So I think I'll do that, actually. Then uh, this I was just talking about. Even though it's, like, really similar to that one, and it's kind of similar to the blush in the Rainforest After Dark palette, I just, it does make me happy. So, yeah. I reach for it quite a bit. Okay, this is um, this Too Faced thing from a holiday set. And, what's open it up. It's gonna be gross. Um, so, I mean, yes, I repressed it and I could use it, but just looking at this does not make me happy. It looks so gross. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm just gonna toss that right in the garbage. Right, this is a little Tarte blush and it is in the shade Magic. I got this in the um, Black Friday sale and I actually kind of want to pan this because it's actually pretty small. It's like one and a half grams. So I think it's like really doable. So um, it's kind of like a nice bright pinky shade. So um, I don't know if I've worn it ever on the cheeks. I've swatched it. But um, yeah, so I want to keep this. This is one of my favorite blushes in my whole collection, so definitely keeping this. These are my NARS blushes, and I love all of them. Um, well, okay, so um, Orgasm is this one. I didn't buy it. I got it in a set, but you know, it's one of those iconic products that I always like kind of wanted to buy, and so I got it really cheap, and I feel like if I get rid of it, someday I'm going to be like, why did I do that, and then I'll buy it again. And it does make me happy to have it, if that makes any sense, even though I usually go for deep throat over this. So, this, I really love Nards blushes, and I love, like, this is, I don't know, having, like, this iconic product for whatever reason makes me happy, so I am going to keep it. Then, this is the Mana Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. And I got this in an Ipsy. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to put this with my, like, samples to try. And if it doesn't make me happy, I will throw it away. This is my Milani Baked Blush in Luminosa. And this is another kind of iconic product, but I don't reach for it very often. Um, hmm. 
But, I mean, it's really pretty and it makes me happy to look at it. So I think I'll keep it. I wasn't expecting to this to go much better than it is, just FYI. Um, this is a highlighter. Um, I got it in a wantable box. It was my first highlighter, actually. And, you know, I just don't reach for it because now I have other ones. Um, but it is a really nice highlighter. It's very similar to the one in the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So it's kind of a nice subtler, subtle one. It's like not glittery. It's very fine. I just gouged some of it under my nail, but um, yeah, so it's a very nice product. I just don't reach for it. So you know what? My sister, I know she doesn't have any powder highlighters. I know she only has a cream one, so maybe I'll ask her if she wants this. But Con Marie in the book does say like not to just give stuff to your sister. Like specifically says don't give stuff to your sister, so unless they already want it. So I will ask her if she's wanted a powder highlighter and if she says yes, I'll give it to her. This is the Mary Luminizer. I really love this highlighter, so gonna keep it. I'm just gonna move these over to the side. Um, this is the Stila Kitten highlighter. I also really like this one. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and this I am fairly confident was breaking me out. Um, someone told me that I could douse it with alcohol, and that made it not break them out. But I kind of am afraid to try because I just really don't want to deal with that again. So I think I will downsize this. Okay, this is my Bahama Mama bronzer, and I thought this was my favorite bronzer, but I used it last week, and I don't know, it just wasn't as great as I remembered it being after using Hula for so long, and I actually missed Hula. So, I think I'm going to try this one more time, and then if I don't like it, I'm going to downsize it. So, yes. So that is going to be a pile too, maybe. Like, next week in my makeup, weekly makeup basket, that's happening. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This one's shimmery, and I just never want a shimmery bronzer. I do use the Laguna and the NARS palette, and when I do feel like I could, I'm going out at night or something, I know I won't look like a sparkly disco ball, but I don't need two like that, so I'm going to downsize that. This is MAC Warm Soul, and I do really love this blush. Um, I got it at a CCO, so it's like in the old MAC packaging, but I don't care. I like it. This is a Stila Convertible Color in uh, Peony, and I do really like this. I actually, you know, it was on my list of blushes I might try to use up, but I don't know if that's possible. There's just a lot in here, and it's already expired technically, but I don't, it looks fine, it smells fine, so I'm not going to throw it away for that reason, so you can judge me for that if you want, but, um, yeah, I would like to get some more use out of this at least before I throw it away. Blush. I just haven't been reaching for cream blushes lately, so maybe I should throw those in my makeup basket. Um, this is the Balm in Stain. It's the same as Narsin, and I reach for Narsin for whatever reason, because it's Nars and it's fancy, I guess. Um, let's just be honest. So I'm going to downsize this one. This is uh, the Balm Fret Boy, and this is... I don't know if this makes me happy. It's really cute. I like the packaging a lot. Um, but it's not a blush I reach for a lot, but it is a really nice color. Um, yeah, I'm not going to quite downsize this yet, but we'll see. Maybe the next time I go through. I'll put this with the, well, that one. This is my Too Faced uh, Sweetheart Blush in Peach Beach, and I really like this. Um, I hadn't used it for a long time. It used to be like my only blush, I think, for like a short period of time. It was my only blush. And I used it again recently, and I really, really like it. So, it's so pretty. I'm going to keep it. And so, yeah. So, that's everything. So, I'm going to put this stuff back. And this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to cut this off and then start a part two.